So when I was like 12 or 13, uh, I played Halo Combat Evolved, and that game changed my life. Uh, ever since I played that game, I always wanted to make video games, and there was something about it. I think it was the storytelling and the the being a space marine, and I really felt like I was in that world, and it just felt so believable. It felt so real, and I always wanted to communicate uh, my stories, my experiences, and stuff through a medium like this. And I, I feel like Halo was the first game that really did that to me and it helped me get through, you know, with some weird places in my life. I, I had a lot of stuff going on. Um, you know, I had people that were fighting around me. It was just, it was, it was crazy. It was traumatic for a kid. And, uh, in middle school, you know, a, a lot of stuff was crazy, you know, like I, I got bullied a lot. Things like that were just all around me and, and Halo let me escape. And, I didn't know how I was going to make games. I didn't know how to make games. I had no idea how to even begin this journey. I just knew that, one, I needed a computer. That was the first thing I needed. So I actually found one in the dumpster. I found a computer in the dumpster uh, near where we lived at the time, and I pulled it out of the dumpster. Well, it was sitting next to the dumpster, but I assumed it didn't work, but I actually brought it home and it did work. But it had all kinds of stuff on it and viruses and crazy stuff. So I had a computer teacher at my middle school that helped me uh, wipe it and reinstall Windows XP. I was super grateful for that. Like, he was he was awesome. And uh, I wouldn't have been able to do it without him because I had no idea how to do it then. But I just started Googling, like, how to make games. I just straight up, like, how do I do this? What do I do? Um, and I found Blender. And so I downloaded Blender. I started messing around with 3D modeling. And they had a game engine built into Blender, and I started messing around with uh, their engine. I, I didn't get very far. I got uh, I figured out how to make uh, 3D models and stuff, and I could animate a little bit. So I made like this cutscene and stuff that I'm, <laughs> I'm way too embarrassed to ever show anybody uh, for this game called Project Exodus that I wanted to make. And um, it was it was fun, but it it wasn't quite what I wanted to do. So I found this other piece of software called FPS Creator, uh, which was awesome. It was like a drag and drop uh, way to make FPS games. And since Halo had inspired me, that was ultimately what I wanted to make. And so I started messing around with that. But even that was limiting because even though I could drag and drop and make FPS games, I could only use their assets that were in the software. And there was no way for me to to build my own stuff. So I started to get in programming with a, a software called Dark Basic Pro. It was like a language. And I started using that, learning how to make games. And I actually decided to build my own engine. And uh, I decided to make a game called Echo One with a friend uh, where it was like a top-down 2D type of game uh, where you play as this tank and you're trying to infiltrate this AI facility that where the AI is just completely taken over um, the whole the planet. And you have to go infiltrate and do all that. And I started building this whole engine. I built this whole editor. Uh, it took me months because I was literally Googling every line of code as I was writing it. I had no idea. I was reading through the documentation almost every night. Uh, and, you know, as a kid, I was I was straight up like I was, there were some days where I would stay up all night working on the game and then go to school the next morning and then come home and like crash and sleep for a couple hours and then do that again. Uh, and I was on that path for a couple times but I it was it was interesting to me it was so interesting that I could build these worlds and I just felt so compelled to do it and uh, I ended up actually writing a piece of software after I built the whole editor and this whole engine thing because I learned how to build software doing that I built this piece of software that allowed me to get my own assets into FPS creator uh, and I ended up selling that and I got into marketing and all that because I had to learn how to sell that application and it done well it did well but um and then I got discouraged because I turned 18, I graduated high school, and everyone around me told me that, like, I needed to go to college. Like, that's that's what you do when you graduate high school. You, grad, you go to college. That's just the thing you do. So I found this. There was a TV commercial for DeVry, and they had a, a video game programming program uh, that they were offering, game and simulation programming was what they called it. And so I was like, all right, I'll just, I'll go there because I want to make video games and they do it. But that really discouraged me even more because one, you know, college is like the first half of college is just the same stuff you learn in high school, the 
math and the English and all that stuff. So it wasn't really games. But then, too, when we actually got into programming games, like, two years later, I was already so far past that point because I had kept programming. I had kept working on stuff. Not so much games, but I started working on software and things like that. And it was just, it wasn't helpful at all. And the whole entire experience was just a giant waste of money. Uh, so I ended up dropping out. And life took me down a different path. And I ended up starting a marketing company with all the marketing knowledge that I learned from uh, the stuff that I did with the, the software that I wrote. And uh, I started to get clients doing that. I started to make a living doing that. And... Um, it was fun and it was interesting, but like I always wanted to make games. And I actually, I, I started Game Dev Underground way back then trying to be a community because I wanted to stay connected to all this, these beautiful game devs and amazing people that I, that I met and that were online making video games, but it just wasn't something that ever really took off. So I went on my, with my life and it wasn't until, um, I, I relaunched Game of Underground in 2013, but I didn't really get back into making games until around 2015 when I sold my company and I took off on a road trip. And I decided on my road trip I was going to make um, a bunch of different games. And I started messing around with different prototypes and I just started playing around with different engines. And that's really when I got back into games and I started really making stuff. And I found Construct 2, which is the engine that I use, and it was like, oh my God, this is amazing. This is like drag and drop type of stuff. And even though I had been a programmer for years, it was just, it was amazing because like, just because you can program a hundred thousand lines of code to get a dude up and running and the, get the jump perfect and all that stuff doesn't necessarily mean you want to, right? Like I had made a bunch of websites, but it doesn't mean that I'd want to sit there and just code a bunch of HTML. I'd rather just install WordPress and use a theme. So Construct 2 was like, that was the thing that really inspired me to start making games again. And uh, I I started messing around with different prototypes, but I wasn't really finishing anything. And uh, that's actually when I created the first prototype for Father Phobia after I went through some rough stuff and a rough breakup and all that. And uh, it kind of inspired that game, but that game kind of got put on hold because I ended up selling my company and going across country and all that. And that's when I started to really get into YouTube, when I really started to share what I was thinking about game development, uh, share stuff with the community. And that really helped push me along because now I had people like encouraging me and like telling me that I could do it when before, like I didn't think I could make games uh, like I wanted to because I was so discouraged by college and by what everyone told me. I really started getting into it more. And, and now that I had a community of people, even though it was super small back then, uh, you know, 10, 20 people, uh, I had these people around me and we were all making games together. And it was it was an amazing experience. And so I started to YouTube. I started to share stuff. I started to grow the community. And that's when I did the Finish Friday stuff. When I took like eight of those different prototypes and finished them once a week, every week, uh, you know, live on stream. And that was super fun. It was a ton of fun. And I started doing game jams a lot. So I started doing Ludum Dares. I don't think I missed a Ludum Dare uh, in the past couple years. And uh, it's it's been an experience. And it's it's been one of the most rewarding things that I think I've ever done. And I would, weirdly, I would merge the community building with the game development. Because for, the, for me, like, those two were, they kind of came hand in hand. They were kind of together. Uh, making games is amazing, but... But if you don't have anybody to share those games with, uh, it can be discouraging. And that's why I think the community has really, really taken on a new life because it's it's put meaning behind the games in a way. Like you make fun things so that other people can enjoy. And that's one of the reasons why I love our community. So that's kind of my story. That's That's how I started making games. And... If you're new, if you're new to game development and you want to get into making games, I recommend that you just pick a game engine and you start. Uh, I like Construct 2, but I like to make 2D games. So, you know, look into that, look into Unity, look into Unreal, look into all these different engines and pick one and just watch some tutorials and start. Like I, I Googled line by line every single piece of code. It's not nowhere near that complicated these days. Uh, you can download assets, you can get stuff running, you can 
you know, copying stuff, pay, copy and paste stuff from Google. Like there's so many different ways that you can do it now. And the engines make everything easier. Like back when I started, there really wasn't that many engines out there. Uh, nothing on the scale of today. So it's a lot easier than you think it is. It can seem overwhelming, but it's, it's one of those things that you got to stick with and it takes a long time to learn. And it's not as complicated as you might think, but it's definitely rewarding. And if you're looking for a supportive community, uh, the Game Dev Underground Discord link is down below. We have hundreds of game developers from all over the globe that support each other in making games. And I recommend you check that. And if, if you need something beyond that, right, if you need something uh, even more hands-on, I have uh, a Patreon where I run a monthly membership called Game Dev Underground Elite. And we have all sorts of stuff there from tutorials to uh, book reviews to hands-on stuff. And the, the ultimate tier, the gold, is is an accountability group with me, right? Like we all meet together in video chat twice a month and we all talk about our goals and our accountability and uh, we, we make sure that each other stays on track and we help solve problems that, that any person might have if, if they're having trouble with their games or, or anything like that. And that has been super helpful to me. So I recommend you check that out. Uh, but don't get discouraged. You should start. You should, no matter what you do, you should start. Because starting is the important thing. And, and I started way back in the day, but I stopped. And when you start and stop, you, I mean, there's no, you still stopped. There's nothing there for you. So you got to keep going. And I definitely wish I would have kept going because making making a video game is like, the most amazing thing that you could ever do. It's like the ultimate form of art. It's like this ultimate creation. Like you created something from nothing and you engineered an experience for another human being to, to play through. And it's just, it's amazing. So I recommend you do it. It's, uh, I definitely wouldn't change that history for anything, but I appreciate you watching. Uh, my name is Tim Russwick and I'll see you again tomorrow.